Hey, it's Michael, music director of Rock Guitar, back for Drum Lesson Series number three. So today, we're going to get a little bit more comfortable with playing on the drums with our sticks. And I hope that you've been able to pick up drumsticks and also a drum pad as well. And for right now, I'm going to use this drum pad and place it right on top of my snare drum over here. And the first thing that I want you to do as soon as you get your grips, remember we talked about that, thumb and index finger, that's how to do it, right? So get your thumb and index finger out, get those sticks bouncing. One other thing about stick placement, make sure you've got a little bit of the stick sticking out of the back of your hand. That's really important. You don't want to have the stick inside of your hand like this. This isn't good. You need to make sure that the back of the stick is coming outside of the back of your hand. Just a little bit. You know, maybe like a half an inch to an inch. Everybody's different. You've got to find your comfort level. Okay? So once you've got your grips in place and you have your drum pad, you can sit at a at your kitchen table or on the couch, put your pad on your lap wherever you're comfortable. Or if you have a drum set, great. Just sit on your drum throne right in front of your snare drum and you could put your pad on your snare drum or you could just play on your snare drum. I'm going to play on the pad for right now and then I'll take the pad away and play on the snare drum as well. The first thing you want to get comfortable with is bouncing the drumstick on your pad or on your drum skin. And you could do this on any drum. You could use the toms, you could also use your snare drum. You could also leave, even use your hi-hat and cymbals as a matter of fact. But right now, I'm going to use the pad. Very important technique to start learning now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the tips of the sticks because we don't want to use the side of the stick to hit the drum pad or the snare got to angle your sticks a little bit so you have the tips of your sticks touching the drum pad or the drum skin. And what we're going to do is we're going to bounce each stick. So we're going to take our right hand, raise it up, and remember, as we go through these lessons, I'm going to talk about and repeat myself on some very important techniques like using your wrist. Your wrist is extremely important when you play the drums. If you're playing drums and you see your arms going up and down, not good. Sometimes if you've got to reach to cymbals, yeah. But you want to be able to use your wrists. That's where the power is. Your thumb and your index finger and using your wrists to get those sticks to bounce off the skins. So let's try a bouncing exercise now. I always love to do this. We're going to raise our right stick and just let the stick kind of bounce on the pad. Let's do the same with our left. We just bounce those sticks. Now I have my pinky and my ring finger loose right now as you can see. I'm really not using my two um, fingers in the back but I do have my middle finger guiding me. My middle finger is the finger underneath that you can't see when I have my hands turned the right way to play. And that middle finger is guiding the stick. It's helping me. It's helping the bounce on the stick. So let's keep bouncing, bouncing on the pad, bouncing on the pad. Make sure the tip of the stick is bouncing. If it's not bouncing and it's just kind of hitting the pad like this, you're pressing a little bit too hard. So you want to let that stick to bounce. And you want to also make sure that you're gripping that stick with your thumb and your index finger while the stick is bouncing. It's kind of like a little bit of a hinge, really. It's kind of like a hinge. You could, that stick could bounce. You could hold those sticks tight with your thumb and your index finger, and that stick is still going to bounce. Okay, So don't worry about the grip. What you don't want to do is just have the stick really loose in your hand you know, and letting it bounce loosely. Not good. You want to use your power grips. You want to use your thumb and your index finger to let those tips bounce. OK, I'm going to take away the drum pad. Put it on my floor tom tom for right now. Let's try bouncing on the snare skin. Here we go. Listen to the sound of the bounce. It's 
almost like if you drop a, a, a basketball or a, a, a bouncy ball on the floor and don't pick it up, and it just starts to bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and get really, really fast, and then all of a sudden it stops, just like the tip of a drumstick. Watch again. Now you may have a little bit of difficulty with this at first and you may be experiencing things like this. If that's happening, it's okay. Just loosen up. You know, one of the most important things about becoming a musician as you're learning is to relax. Sometimes trying too hard isn't that great. Sometimes you've got to lay back. Sometimes you've got to relax. Take a deep breath. Try again and just let yourself go. You'll get the hang of it. And once you get that bounce down, there's a ton of real cool things that we could do, like drum rolls, things like this. Things like this. Those are different types of rudiments that we'll be talking about. So for now, I hope you had fun. Keep on bouncing your sticks. Just relax, play, use your wrists, and have some fun playing on your pad or your drum set. And I'll see you in the next lesson.